Of course, a quality root pass weld begins with appropriate joint preparation. Before operating this or any other welding machine, always read and follow all safety labels and information in the owner's manual. Miller is always updating and improving their products, so your machine may operate a bit differently than the demonstration machine used in this video. Start with pipe joint sections that have standard 37 and a half degree bevels. This will create a joint design with a 75 degree included angle. The lands can be a knife edge to 3 seconds of an inch. Use a minimum 1 8 inch gap to ensure proper root reinforcement on the root side of the joint. An easy way to space the gap is with a filler metal rod that matches your desired gap size. You'll tack the pipe ends together using the RMD process to help maintain an even gap all the way around the pipe joint. To get the best results, deposit four one-inch tacks approximately 90 degrees apart, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. Make the first tack weld and remove the filler metal spacer. Then check your gap before making the next tack weld on the opposite side of the pipe from the first tack weld. Make the third tack weld on the side in between the first and second tack welds. Finally, place the fourth tack weld opposite the third. On a larger pipe, your tack welds may be one inch or larger. On a smaller pipe, they may be one quarter to one half inch long. Tack welds will shrink during cooling, causing the joint to close up. In tight areas with less than a one eighth inch gap, you may need to grind the joint using a three thirty second inch cutting wheel to open the root. Finish preparing for your root pass weld by grinding each of your tack welds to a feather edge. This will make sure you consume the tack welds when completing the root pass.